Ooh. 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 No, thank you. just had a three-way crying. Oh, I wonder who pranked a toilet. Hmm. Hmm. I hope Pennywise leaves. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hi, friends. Welcome back to my Sims 4 Big Brother horror series. I hope you're all doing well. Oh, I think Kayako was confronting Annabelle, being like, why did you use that power of Ito? Oh, <gasps> she doesn't like her. She's pissed because uh, Pennywise and Kayako were actually pretty uh, pretty tight. But because Annabelle won the power of Ido and used it, she also can't be put up on the block. Big Brother rules. Oh, is Kayako... Oh my... Have we ever seen Kayako go and beat up the dino? I think this is new. Oh, and she even like creates like a scenario. Like... Oh... Okay. So, like I had said, I was pretty sure the power of Ida was going to be used unless it was Kayako who won it. And maybe uh, if Kayako won it or Jason won it, but they were out the first round, everyone else I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure the veto is going to get used. And uh, it did by this one. She's won two vetoes and one HOH. She's a huge threat, but she has the closest relationship with Freddy and they are starting to be super close. So Freddy Krueger, you got saved. Where are you going, Jason? Oh, everyone has to use the bathroom at like the same time. But yeah, now that Pennywise is up on the block and Ghostface, I don't know who's gonna go. I'm not ready for this eviction. It gets harder each time, but I genuinely love both of those franchises, so I don't want them to leave. Girls, girls. Kayako is pissed. Like, she just keeps staring at Annabelle. I'm sad that the two of them couldn't work it out. Wanted to see my ladies, uh, you know, work together after they... It was Kayako's HOH that sent uh, the only other woman away, but I can't force people to work together. I can't. So this episode, we are going to have... Oh, I haven't seen people eat at this table in a long time. Oh, you were hungry. You were hungry. Um, we will have eviction in the morning, and then we will have our HOH competition, and... Maybe it will actually be someone different, but... Seeing how Annabelle has been playing, it could easily be Annabelle. But the HOH comp that I have picked is super random. I try to make it that way, um, where it will just be luck of what they get. So maybe Annabelle's a super lucky gal. So it seems like they're going to sleep. I don't know why you need to sleep, though. I don't think your needs ever... Hey, her fun's halfway. Her needs do go down? Everyone's just very tired after that long day. So we will do the eviction ceremony in the morning. Kayako's gonna wake up soon anyway because she's gonna be possessed in a couple hours. What are your muscles sore from? What did you... Oh god. Well, there she goes. Oh, did she not? Oh, there she is. Ooh, ooh. 
Ooh. No, thank you. Well, everyone is going to sleep while she does her thing. We're used to it by now. So if this one gets her way, Ghostface will be leaving. But if the house goes against that, they probably could. They could send Pennywise away. And that's a close ally to the HOH. But how is this house thinking? That sink is broken. All right, she's back to normal. People are starting... Oh my god, terrible pajamas. People are starting to wake up now. Oh, gotta go get your daily beating in. <laughs> Ghostface, you look ridiculous. No, oh, gotta have coffee. Oh god, everyone's waking up a little, little weird right now. Pennywise... I don't want to see you go. Ghostface. I don't want to see you go. How about it's a non-elimination week, huh? Huh? No. Nah. Someone's gotta go. But either way, these two are super close too. Their friendship bar is pretty high, so... It would've been... It's gonna be sad for either one of them. They're gonna lose a friend today. Makes me sad. Keep saying sad, Brittany. No words. Oh, nice. You two. Buddy buddies. All right, people seem to be okay. So I say we do the eviction soon. Finish up your cup of coffee and let's go do this eviction. Welcome to the eviction ceremony. Pennywise, Ghostface, in just a few moments, one of you will be evicted from the house and have to walk out the front door. Kayako, as outgoing HOH, you are not eligible to vote. Annabelle, Freddie, and Jason will be the only ones casting a vote to evict. And we will start with Annabelle. Annabelle has made it very clear that she is here to play this game and wants to make it to the end. And she feels like if she saves this person, from eviction that she could work with them and get them on her side. So, Annabelle, please cast your vote to evict. Thank you, Annabelle. Jason isn't necessarily close with either one of these two nominees. However, he knows Kayako is pretty close to Pennywise, and he's hoping that he could use that relationship to help further him in the game. So, Jason, please cast your vote to evict. Thank you. Freddy's decisions have been a bit unpredictable. He does have a bit of an allegiance to Annabelle, especially because she did use the veto to save him and he could have easily been the one leaving this week. Freddy is hoping that this person that he saves will come and work with him for a little while until he can get rid of him so he can win this game himself. Freddy, please cast your vote to evict. Thank you. House guests, the votes have been cast, and by a vote of two to one, Pennywise, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Oh, my friend's gonna be so upset about this. <laughs> And there you have it, Pennywise has been evicted from the Big Brother house. I'm so sorry you weren't supposed to be up this week and it just sucks that a friend of yours was the HOH and it was unfortunately her reign that sent you home. So we won't see Pennywise until finale night, but it has been great. My toilets are hopefully going to be undisturbed now. We are going to miss you, big guy, but that is the game, and we have to move on. Bad Pennywise. She never lets herself to fully cry. She's sad that she had to say goodbye to her friend on her HOH. That wasn't supposed to be the plan. And Ghostface stayed. That was kind of shocking to me. But ultimately, Annabelle and Freddy got to make the call and they felt like they could work. They could work better with Ghostface than they could with Pennywise because of his 
I mean, they have already the greatest relationship. They have common interests, but they knew that Kayako and Pennywise were really close, so making the HOH have to put up her friend and then voting out that friend, that sucks. But that's big brother. Let's cut through. So we will do our HOH competition in just a little bit. I'm gonna let them just decompress from the excitement of the eviction. And we actually get to leave the property for this HOH competition. We don't go far, but we are gonna not go to the backyard. And that's all I'm gonna tell you. Oh, now she's letting herself cry. That's really sad. I didn't even put Moonlight Sonata on. Editing Brittany, don't do it. Cause that's just sad. That was her friend. Now Ghostface is kind of the swing vote. Like Annabelle and Fred, Fredgy. <laughs> and Freddy have kind of made it clear that they are a deal, a deal, a package. And Kayako and Jason, are also together but now Ghostface is just kind of in the middle and yeah it's great that Freddie and Annabelle saved him doesn't mean he has to work with them it'll be especially interesting if he wins HOH which he is a comp a comp threat so he easily could but we shall see we shall see get them working it's a Ghostface sandwich they're trying or who is Annabelle oh she's just talking to herself it looked like they were talking Freddie's so sad I don't understand. If they play chess, it'll be Freddy versus Jason. Thank you. Thank you. I've been waiting for the two of them to be up on the block against each other so I could say that, but this works too. Alrighty, team. I'm going to go get them ready for the head of household competition, and then we'll get to it. Okay, we are at the head of household competition. I did tell you it was away from the house, but we are literally right next door. <laughs> so I've left Kayako in the living room because as outgoing HOH, she's not eligible to compete. However, Annabelle, Ghostface, Jason, and Freddy all get the chance to compete for the ultimate power we call head of household. How this competition works is simple. The house guests are gonna go fishing until they catch something or until they give up. Now, this is 100% luck. The odds of them catching a fish are probably pretty average. The odds of them catching something more valuable is rarer, and I think it's not super common for them to give up, but I have done this before and have had house guests just give up. So I let them keep going until they catch something or they stop fishing completely. And the minute they catch one thing, that is their thing they caught. So I'm gonna see if it's gonna let me have all of them fish or they will do it at once. And then once everyone has something or has given up, we will then tally up those points and whoever has the most expensive item is going to be our head of household. You know what, I'm actually just gonna do one at a time, just it'll be easier. So I've already drawn randomly who's going first, and Annabelle, she is gonna go fishing first. So let's see if she catches anything. Is she gonna get it? No, our line broke. Okay, Annabelle caught a bass, so that is the end of her turn. I'm not going to see how much it was worth until the end. Thanks, Annabelle. You did great. No, I said stop fishing. Oh, it told me it was worth 20 simoleons. <laughs> so she has 20 points, so the boys have to beat that to beat Annabelle. Next is Freddy. Let's see if Freddy can catch something. Oh, oh. Okay, so he caught, I think, just seaweed. If he keeps fishing, yeah, okay. 
If he gave up after that, that's his turn. But if he keeps fishing, that's fine. Oh, there's something. Oh, is he gonna give up? No. I don't like this random guy. Just fishing with us. He also caught a bass. Good job. How much was it worth? 19. <laughs> of course Annabelle is in the lead. Why wouldn't she win HOH maybe again? Okay, Freddy, that is not enough to be our next HOH. Okay, next is Ghostface. All right, Ghostface, can you be Annabelle? Okay, it's just seaweed. Are you going to give up? He did not. Oh. Oh. Are you going to give up? Not today. Here we go. Come on, this has got to be it. Okay, he got a fish. Nicely done. What was it worth? 18. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, Ghostface, unfortunately, that is not enough to be our next HOH. So please go join the others in the living room. Jason, it has come down to you. You need to be Annabelle's 20 if you want to be HOH for the first time. Okay. <gasps> come on, bud. Oh, what is that? Garbage? Okay, he's still going though. He's got something. No. Oh, don't give up. Come on. Keep going. I think it might be after three times if they don't catch something, they give up. Okay, this is it. This is the big ticket item. Come on, Jason. <laughs> it's the littlest fish. <laughs> I mean, I'm proud of you. It's a tetra, so it's not eight simoleons. <laughs> wow. She went first, and she has won her second HOH of the season. Only girls have won, and there she is. Congratulations, Annabelle. You are the next out of household. Congratulations on your second win. What is going to happen now that Annabelle is the new head of household? I seriously am trying to make it different HOHs, I promise you. But these girls are just powerhouses apparently. So thank you, that's all the time that we have for this episode. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you like what you saw and you made it this far, make sure you hit that thumbs up. It really means a lot. And if you're not a subscriber already, why don't you hit that subscribe button? I release this series every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday for the entire month of October. And until next time, friends, bye.